Welcome back, Buckeye Nation, to your Cable Data Science channel. And welcome to our uh, welcome to my live stream on Twitch. By the way, speaking of Twitch, if you click on that description, you'll see a link to my Twitch channel uh, in the description below. Click on that link, click follow, and, and join in the fun. Uh, I, I have two Twitch broadcast live streams today. One at 1 p.m., which is COVID-19 analysis. The second one at 8 p.m. is uh, is more is data analytics with R and R and R and Tidyverse and ggplot2 and Tabula and even a little bit of SQL like thrown in for good measure. Okay, so by all means, click on that share button. Click on, of course, click on the share button. Share the video with your friends and family today. Click on the subscribe button. We're currently at what? Two hundred ninety-five. Our goal is three hundred subscribers by Sunday evening. So if you haven't subscribed already, by all means, click on the subscribe button. Click on the share button. Invite your friends and family to also come along on all the fun and subscribe. And of course, again, hey, don't forget to click that description, and then click on that link to, to my Twitch account, this Twitch account, and, and join in and, and, and follow and follow the the, uh, the Kirby Data Science channel and Dave's Data Analytic stream on Twitch today. All it takes is a click on that link in the description. Okay, so let's get started, Buckeye Nation, with the uh, with the actual fun stuff. Well. Of course, we always need to remind ourselves of, of some. Also, I. Uh, why the devil did that work? Huh? That's interesting. That's interesting. How did that happen? That is really strange. That is really strange because it ran the first time. Huh. That is really strange. I have no idea. I have no idea what it happened. Something must have happened when I updated it. Let's see what happens now. Huh. That is really odd. I have no idea what caused that because it worked perfectly well on, on, on the Israel report. Anyway, okay, well, let's just move let's just move along here. <laughs> we we'll have to make an adjustment to one of our to to a couple reports along the way, maybe. Oh, I had a non zero status. Oh, okay, let's try this one more time. So, what happened when you, get, when you get a non exit status? That means the package didn't install. So, I remember last time I, 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 I clicked on the uh, on the uh, install from the source. That's what that's what gave us the error. So I'm not going to do that right now. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if it's uninstalled as part of something else or what. Huh. This is getting to be really interesting. Okay, here we go. So anyway, uh, as you recall, 
back in February 2021, the, the governor's office came out and said that they had undercounted deaths during the fourth quarter of uh, of 2020 by close to 4,000. But rather than go back and correcting those numbers, what the governor's office did, as you can see here, they added those numbers on the February 11th, 2013, completely blowing Rusty's numbers out of the water. So what I'm doing is I came back and I replaced these three numbers here with the average number of deaths for those three days. And that gives us something a little closer like this here, okay? And this is what the raw deaths look like. Here's where the missing numbers are. And this could be part of the, uh, of the of the of the addition okay here's some uh here's some uh summary statistics average number of deaths per day 30.8 with the maximum of 752 and a minimum of negative 598. now when we look at the numbers here the red line is the seven day moving average for deaths in the state of ohio you can see that since the 1st of December, this number has been decreasing. Now, we are seeing a bit of an increase over here, but we've seen several of these little it spikes over here along the way. So hopefully this is just a spike, and it'll quickly, in, in the, in the COVID-19 deaths, will quickly begin to fall again in the state of Ohio. This is the number of cases by day. Summary statistics, a maximum 25,721, minimum of zero, okay? Now this this is at 70 moving average. Look what happens. Sometime around the middle of uh, around the first week of August, July, cases begin to increase. But this is when to keep in mind ourselves: the COVID-19 vaccine, which we're all taking, is not does not keep you from getting COVID-19. It simply reduces the chance that you'll die from it. Okay, that's that's presuming that you're in a high risk, a high age risk category to begin with. Okay, so we we don't want to panic over cases because even if we had a 100% vaccination rate in the U.S., there would still be new cases, okay? Because we, as a matter of fact, the cases could continue to increase in America, even with a 100% full vaccination rate, okay? So anyway, the, and as I'll also remind yourselves that what John, what Washington University's Institute of Health Metrics and Evaluation says, they say that the single best measure of the spread of a pandemic is daily deaths not hospital beds and not cases. So don't be misled by the media who only wants to talk about hospital beds and cases, okay? That they are not as important as deaths, okay? Thanks so much for your time today, uh, Buckeye Nation. Hey, thanks again for uh, one, more, one more shout out to my YouTube followers. Be sure to click on that link below and, then, and then on that description and click on the link to, to take you to the Twitch page. And that way you'll be able to join in all the fun of live COVID-19, uh, live uh, data analytics on Dave's data analytics channel. Of course, subscribe and click the like button and share this video with your friends and family. Thanks so much, Buckeye Nation. We'll catch you tomorrow with an update report.